children in Australia's Aboriginal communities are six times more likely to be abused or neglected than the country's non-Indigenous children, according to a government report issued July 2nd. On July 2nd, the Australian government issued a report titled Overcoming Indigenous Disadvantage. The paper showed a widening gap in child abuse since 2003, when the report was last issued. Substantiated child abuse uh, and neglect um, uh, is running at, at, at about six times the rate for non-Indigenous uh, communities compared to four times uh, at the beginning of the decade. The report highlighted the continued and in some cases growing discrepancies between their lives and those of other Australians. The report also found no improvement in 80% of the economic and social categories measured. This is a devastating report, it is unacceptable and it requires decisive action. Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rudd told a meeting of federal and state government leaders in the northern city of Darwin that the report illustrates the difficulty of the challenges and the strategies should be devised to close the gap. This report on Indigenous disadvantage illustrates fundamentally how grave the challenge is and how little progress has been made in the past. We must turn the corner. The report's one positive note was on infant mortality, which improved for Aborigines in most states and territories. It was, however, still two to three times higher than for non-Indigenous Australians. This report really does demonstrate the depth and extent of the challenge in front of us. It really does indicate what we have always said, which is that closing the gap is going to be very tough and will require from all of us a long-term commitment. Australia's federal and state governments have set targets of closing the gap in six areas. Life expectancy, child mortality, early childhood education, literacy and numeracy, high school graduation and employment. DITV Weekly.